Okay, my friends, this video, as I'm walking here alone, I'm gonna teach you how to uh, manifest what you want and desire in life, okay? Let me tell you a story about me, how, how it happened, and, and this manifestation uh, or manifest destiny is really true, okay? Manifest destiny is do, doable, has, is very easy to practice, okay? If you want something badly enough in life, if you think about a day and night with every fiber and every cellular level of your body from the small cell to your whole being you will get it okay whether you want a beautiful wife with big breasts nice butt flat tummy uh, long hair beautiful eyes you know which i have okay and you want to come to america for free you can just manifest it okay you don't need money okay you do not need money it will come you will you need to have a strong the strong, the strong why, okay? Why, why you want it? Why you need it? Then the how will come later, okay? That's that's the secret to manifesting. If you have the strong enough why, the how will come later. You don't need to learn how to do how right now. You need to learn to do why. Why you need to come to America? Let's say you are from Mexico or from Vietnam or from Cuba or something, and uh, Poland, and you want to come to America. You have no money. You just have to tell yourself why you need to come and manifest why, 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 okay? And let me tell you my story, okay? Ever since I was little, little boy, I play with my friends, and I don't have money to buy toys, right? But I play with their toys, and their toys are the small, the small cars, the small, small Hot Wheels, right? And you push over there, yeah, you push, right? And you push one, and it fly, it goes, it go very, it roll very smooth, and it go for a long, long time. So wow, who made this? And then you flip it underneath. It say, made in the USA, right? Made in the USA. I go, wow, I need to be in this country where they make a small car that looks just like real, like new, these real cars, right? <laughs> Make it, this is a this real car. And it, it, it rolls so well, so smooth. I say, I need to go to this country. When I grow up, I'm gonna live in America. I'm not gonna live in Vietnam. Vietnam has, you know, uh, straw mats. Vietnam has, you know, wooden stuff. No metal stuff, no, no hot wheelies, okay? So that's one number one, okay? Number two, my family bought uh, some utensil from from uh, from the market, and it has a knife, right? You know the the steak knife that everything on it was 100% uh, metal, right? And then I, I saw it. I was like, who made this knife? Most of the knife in Vietnam are very uh, thin and uh, flimsy looking, and then they have a wooden handle that they screw on and then if you use it for a year or two then the wooden handle become you know shaky and comes off right and the knife is not usable well anymore but this american knife okay it's a steak knife butter knife the butter knife yeah the butter knife um it's one made one the whole thing is made of uh metal and then it can never go wrong or ruin right and i go who made it and again i say made in the usa i go Man, I want to live in a country that makes knives like this, okay? It's an awesome knife. And so, I swear to myself, when I grow up and when I get older, I find a way to get to America. I need to go to America and live. I don't really want to live in Vietnam. Even though back then in Vietnam, is still a very blissful state of life, right? I, I live life as a young child, carefree and blissful, right? Very happy. But still, I wanted very young, since I was very young, to come to America and voila. I think about day and night, okay, that's, that's two, okay? Maybe you need three, three things to manifest. Number three, I tell you this, okay? <laughs> this is dirty, but I need to tell you anyway, because it's the truth. Okay, back then, somehow my mom got a hold of the Sears catalog, right? Sears catalog. And on it, it has all the products. They say, oh my gosh, who sell these products? Everything, from uh, household products to everything. And then in it, there was a small part where it has apparel, right? And in the apparel part, it has beautiful ladies, models, of course. And then these models were in their underwear and brazier in their bra, right? They are so gorgeous. They're like out of the picture for Hollywood, right? It's so gorgeous. And I was drooling over them. I said, oh my God, how can women be these, 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 these beautiful creatures, right? Girls in Vietnam, everything is covered up from head, from neck to toes. Okay, the women never show, show their skin. But in this CS catalog, I'm seeing naked, semi-naked lady, you know, with very high 
tummy to uh, to the tummy underwear. It's long, and then the body is so voluptuous, big breasts, and the bra. Oh my gosh, silky bra. And I go, holy cow! Maybe I need to go to America to look at these beautiful ladies. I got to, I got to, I got to. So, all in my life, from the time I was a very young boy before my my puberty, I manifested that image in my head that I need to live in America. And then everything from my uncle to my sister, they tell me like America. You get a free car every five years, and then apple and oranges are grown on trees so, so much that they drop down on the ground like this. You can pick them up and eat. You know, back then I had to steal apples from uh, apple trees from some neighbors, right? And oranges, I I, I crave oranges, but they're, they're so expensive. They're like gold. And then wait, so so all those time I manifested, and guess what? Because of my strong manifestation, I never needed money. When the time came. To escape Vietnam, I was uh, a freeloader, uh, a stowaway, right? Imagine you, you jump on a train, right? You hop on a train in one of those car uh, in a container, and then you hide. I did the same thing. I jump, uh, I wave my hand, and the guy pulled me on the boat to escape from Vietnam by by sea, by the sea, pulled on the boat, and and I did pay one ticket, okay? And back in Vietnam, one ticket equal one sport car, like an eighty thousand dollar car, like a Porsche or something like that. Now, nowadays, okay. Back then, I didn't pay nothing, zero money. Man. And I escaped Vietnam. I got to Malaysia, the ref refugee camp, and the high commission of refugee asked, "You don't have any relatives outside of Vietnam, right?" I said, "No, nobody." And I say, "Where do you want to go?" I say, "USA, <laughs> USA." So I went. Within two and a half months, they did my paperwork. I was a minor, right, unaccompanied minor, so just me alone. So they processed my paperwork very quick, and two and a half months later, I'm here in Minnesota. America, okay, and I've lived uh, here ever since, except five years in uh, Los Angeles, California. That's how I came to America, my friend, for free, okay. So, if you want something in life, you have to desire it with every fiber of your being, okay. And back then, I also desire a very gorgeous, voluptuous uh, wife of a woman, right? As you can tell, I'm very, I'm Scorpio. I'm very high sex, okay. I should say, and I want women with beautiful eyes. My eyes are small, beady. So I want beautiful round eyes like uh, like dove, okay? dove eyes, round, big, big and you know, beautiful face, big boobs, very skinny uh, body, and bam, I married my current wife. Okay, I should, I should back up a little bit. I was in a marriage with another woman. She's very gorgeous. She's half American, half American, half Vietnamese, called Amerasian, right? And she's gorgeous, but she didn't have that. Uh, big breast, uh, even though she had the surgery to in increase her bust, but she didn't have very big breast. Uh, C, I think, size C. She uh, she did augmentation, but she and I were divorced because we were not uh, getting along together, right? So she divorced me, and I divorced her, and bam, I went back to Vietnam, and I met my wife, current wife right now, and she is voluptuous and gorgeous and hot like a ten, you know, ten out of ten, and I married her. So there you go. My story, two things I wanted in life was a gorgeous woman to be my wife, okay, now I have. She's still, her, her, her breast size are like double D, no, D size, very big, okay. Two hands, I can't even grab from both of my two hands, okay. Number two, I'm here in America because I wanted to come to America. So my story is for adults only, okay. It's, it's true, uh, it's very base and very crude and rude story, but that's the truth I want to tell you, okay. So if you want something in your life, you have to want it with every fiber of your being. Every fiber at the cellular level, you want it. You, you have to have the strong how, or the strong why, I mean. There's no how needed. The how will come later. How, you, how I came to America, I never knew how I would come. I knew that I had to fly over here, but guess what? I had to go by boat first, okay? So have enough strong why and the how, the, the universe will, will part it with. In the book called the alchemist, uh, Paulo Coelho said that you say you want something, tell the universe and we will part ways to make it happen for you, okay? So learn that technique and whatever you want, you want it with so much of your being that the universe will part ways and make it happen for you, okay? Good luck my friends, thank you very much and I apologize if you dislike this video, that's okay. I'm here to tell the truth and God bless you for watching my video. Love you. Bye-bye.